time to see what the B01 can actually do. So we're going to try on some accessories. I thought we'd use the same ones to start with anyway that we did with the Retro SEO2 steam engine and, um, and uh, see how it copes. So the biggest problem you have with this is keeping the belt on. But it does, as you see, work quite well. It's running a bit fast for the windmill, but it is working. drives it quite easily but as I said it's it, because it jumps around keeping the belt on is quite difficult and it's definitely running too fast and the belt comes off but you get the point let's see if I can get it running through the reducer now this is much better. I found that you really do need to clamp the BO1 down because it just jumps around too much. It, for a hit and miss engine it doesn't jump around a lot but it does jump around enough for the belt to come off. So this is way way better. So obviously we've got a gear reduction here. This is an Empire gear reduction unit which is these are excellent and um, obviously I've got it um, we've got that one one reduction there another reduction there another reduction there. So it's slowing it right down and now we've got a much better speed on the windmill and the pump And the little B01 has no problem driving this whatsoever. That noise you can hear is the um, windmill. Obviously it needs a bit of oil. Because <laughs> it's grinding a bit. I'm quite sure which bit it is that's grinding. But, but part of it is. So. But no, this is all working fine. Doesn't appear to be putting hardly any strain whatsoever on the uh, B01 engine. Okay, well I think we'll try it with something else because uh, we've got this set up here. We might as well uh, switch it off. There we go. Let's try it with something else. And there we go with the lovely Empire Ferris wheel. I suppose it is technically going around backwards, but I'm sure that doesn't really matter too much. But uh, yeah, that speed reduction unit, that Empire speed reduction unit, brilliant, absolutely brilliant for this sort of this sort of work. And if you watched um, Jim's Blue Heaters channel, you'll know that he's built his own, which is beautiful and does exactly the same thing. It's quite interesting because you can clearly see the speed reduction and that this one is going around much faster than that one and then of course that one is going around even slower so yeah it works out really well it's a good a good example of the speed reduction gearing in, in, uh, in play Again, the little B01 engine doesn't appear to have any problems at all driving this. It's not even laboring. Absolutely superb. But it is much nicer when it's clamped down, there's no doubt about it. A lot easier to tie it up to um, accessories. All right, let's see if we can give it something a, a bit more difficult, make it work a bit harder. Okay, so I thought we'd give it a go with my uh, steam engine generator load box. See what we can uh, we can uh, put on it. 
um, and see what it will power. So I'm not holding out too much for this because the hit and miss engine is a very slow revving engine and obviously the generator the faster you drive it the more you get out of it so but we'll see well it's running uh, let's go and have a close look at the uh, display over there on the, on the needles see what we've got yeah 12 to 15 volts Right, let's try and turn in some load on. That one LED bulb didn't seem to make much difference. Two LED bulbs. Three. Still going strong. Voltage has dropped off now down to about seven and a half volts. Four. All right, can handle four, that's good. Let's turn them off. And we'll try the, the middle one here is a filament lamp. Yeah, still going strong. Now the real test. <laughs> yeah, it's slowing down definitely. Well, which is right down to five, five volts now. Right, it's three, three LED lamps and the filament lamp. Four LED lamps and the filament lamp. Well, it's doing it amazingly, but we're right down to about four volts, which is why it's very dim. Let's turn the light away so you can see that a bit better. But it's doing it. Amazing. So there you go. That's the maximum load my box can put on it. Well, I could put more filament lamps in, but... Excellent. Oh, I'm well pleased with that. <clears throat> well, I think that'll do for the accessories for now. Uh, there's not really... I haven't really got much else I can drive with it, so... That's what we've got, um, but uh, no, it's all right. It's all right. I'm, I'm well pleased with that. Well, I'm about to wrap it up for the uh, lovely little Okuma Retro B01 hit and miss engine. Uh, supplied to me as I said by Stern and Kit very kindly and I absolutely love this thing I think it's a fantastic looking engine um, it drove all three of these which are my main model steam engine accessories with really without any problem at all the engine uh, generator test set that I built it really wants a higher RPM engine than uh, than the, than something like this hit and miss engine the um, the earlier Chinese hit and miss engines, the two that I've got, they both run much uh, a much higher RPM than the B01 does. But then the B01 is much more accurate. It's a much more scale speed from this than it than than the other ones. So, but it does it does very well indeed. It, it didn't really have any trouble with any of it. So um, yeah, I think it's a truly cool bit of kit. Wonderful, wonderful thing. So. What's next? Well, I'm certainly going to be using it again, as I am with the Retro SEO 2 steam engine. Uh, I think there's a few mods I'd like to do to this. No, nothing serious. I think it would look uh, look okay to put it on a, uh, on a, on a base. 
bit of a nice stick plywood or something like that. Purely because when running accessories, it's much better if it's clamped down. And that would be a lot easier to do if it was on a base. So I may well put it on a wooden base. But no, other than that, there's 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 not really anything you need to do, do to this. Um, maybe attach a different driving pulley. The one that's on there obviously is designed for a flat belt because that's what the original engine would have had. Uh, whereas when you're using belts with model steam engines, you generally tend to use round belts. So uh, maybe a grooved pulley, maybe you fit that to the other flywheel. Uh, that might be an option. So um, yeah, but no, that'll be it for now. So as always, hope you've enjoyed the video and thanks very much for watching. Cheers.